Let us together pray the fifth novena to Saint Ignatius of Loyola. And our theme shall be Barcelona, Alcala, Salamanca. Commitment to Studies. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Introduction We begin with a quote from the autobiography of Saint Ignatius. At first, it seemed that the best way to learn how to help souls was by studying the things of the Spirit. But God had directed him to a very different form of study. How learning the elements of Latin grammar would profit him in his desire to help others grow in the spirit must have seemed quite a mystery to Inigo. He had already learned the value of listening to the other person, and for him this became more important than talking. No wonder he was surprised that the Lord was directing him to study Latin rather than spiritual realities. At Barcelona, Ignatius grew in his desire for study. He realized that in order to save souls, he needed to be a man of erudition even more than being a spiritual person. The eleven years of study which followed would be a real test of his perseverance. Ignatius' commitment to studies was shown by his willingness to sit with young school children even when he was close to 30 years in age. Let us ask our father and founder, Saint Ignatius, to kindle in us the desire to acquire knowledge and use it for the service of God's people. During this novena, we shall pray for the grace that our studies may not make us proud, but rather motivate us to humbly devote ourselves to the praise and service of the Divine Majesty. Opening Prayer God, our loving Father and Mother, we thank you for the gift of Saint Ignatius. Grant us the prudence to discern and to know the truth in a world flooded with information so that we effectively continue the mission of bringing many more souls close to you. We make this prayer in your holy name. Amen. We shall now listen to a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy, chapter 4, verses 1 to 8. In the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and in view of his appearing and his kingdom, I give you this charge. Preach the word. Be prepared in season and out of season. Correct, rebuke, and encourage with great patience and careful instruction. For the time will come when people will not put up with the sound doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear. They will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to myths. But you keep your head in all situations and do a hardship. Do the work of an evangelist. Discharge all the duties of your ministry, for I am already being poured out like a drink offering, and the time for my departure is near. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. Let us refresh ourselves 
with the inspiration Saint Ignatius gives us by his resolve to acquire learning, as he says in the autobiography, after the pilgrim realized that it was God's will that he do not stay in Jerusalem, he continually pondered within himself what he ought to do, and eventually he was rather inclined to study for some time, so he would be able to help souls, and he decided to go to Barcelona. We are in the COVID times, so to say. The situation during the time of St. Ignatius was different. One had to go to a college to learn and to obtain a degree. It must have been humiliating for Ignatius, as a grown-up man, to sit with young children and learn the rudiments of language and arts. St. Ignatius is a great example and model for all of us, stimulating us to keep learning and attaining new knowledge with passion regardless of our age. In the society, however, our apostolic effectiveness comes from our availability more than from our qualifications. All said and done, a Jesuit finds his fulfillment by accepting the superior's will as God's will. That's the beauty of Jesuit availability. Let us pause for some time and reflect on how ready are we to adapt to the changes? How available are we for any ministry anywhere in the world? We shall now pause for a few moments and put forth our petitions to the Lord. Our response shall be, Holy Father Ignatius, pray for us. For the Church, that the Pope, bishops, priests and religious may contribute effectively to the overall good of the people by vibrating with the signs of the times. May they equip themselves with the knowledge and skills needed to be more effective in proclaiming the Gospel to the people of God around the world. We pray, Holy Father Ignatius, Pray for us, for Jesuits and their apostolate, that in line with the emphasis laid by our Father General, we may give due importance to the intellectual and spiritual dimensions of our apostolates and labor under the banner of the cross for the creation of a better society to live in. For this we pray, Holy Father Ignatius, pray for us. For Jesuits pursuing studies, that they may deeply invest themselves in acquiring intellectual depth and use the means of imagination, knowledge, analysis and reflection to serve the Lord and His people effectively. For this we pray, Holy Father Ignatius, pray for us. For persons affected by coronavirus, that God, the giver of life, may protect all those who have suffered in one way or another by the pandemic, the victims, their families, their caregivers, and grant us the courage to rebuild our world together on the foundations of justice, equality, and peace. For this we pray, Holy Father Ignatius, 
pray for us for courage to speak for justice that intellectuals educationists social thinkers judges civic leaders politicians and priests and religious may be inspired to speak out on behalf of the poor the oppressed and the victims of injustice that we ourselves be courageous to speak the truth and proclaim the values of Christ for this we pray holy father ignatius pray for us for the cause of education that our education system and the new education policy benefit all our brothers and sisters in our country so as to make our students responsible citizens of our country and esteemed members of the global human community for this we pray holy father ignatius pray for us our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen concluding prayer heavenly father we ask you to bestow on us the grace of marches that you gave to ignatius make us dauntless like saint ignatius in proclaiming your good news with the same zeal that animated him and learn each day to know your son jesus more intimately love him more ardently and follow him more closely under the banner of the cross we make this prayer through the same jesus christ our lord amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen